An army of militants now controls another key city in Iraq. Thousands of people there are running away in fear, and a United States Navy ship with 550 Marines aboard is headed for the Persian Gulf. The insurgent group called ISIS took over Talifer this morning in northern Iraq. That city is near Mosul, where ISIS began a string of military victories a week ago. This terrorist organization inspired by al-Qaeda threatens an all-out battle for Baghdad. Iraq's government is increasing security in the capital. In the meantime, ISIS is bragging about an alleged massacre of Iraqi soldiers captured on camera. Holly Williams is in the northern town of Kalak, where refugees are escaping the violence. Holly, good, good morning. morning. Photos posted online by the militants seem to show hundreds of Iraqi government soldiers being forced to lie in a ditch and then at least some of them being shot. Now, we cannot independently verify these images, but they appear to show a mass execution. And that is very frightening for others here who fear they could also be targets for the Islamic militants. On the road to Mosul, this is the last checkpoint before territory that's now controlled by Islamic militants. Just 10 miles away is the center of Iraq's second largest city, which was overrun by armed extremists last week. The militants announced they'll impose strict Islamic law. The men here are telling us that the Islamic militants are just another 50 yards in that direction. Just outside the militants' control and vulnerable to attack is the Christian town of Bartella. The locals told us Christians have been living here for nearly 2,000 years and they still pray in Aramaic, the language spoken by Jesus. They're defended by 600 Christian militiamen. The Iraqi government soldiers who were supposed to be protecting this area ran away from the Islamic extremists. Captain Firaz Jacob is in charge of the militiamen and told us everyone here is frightened. If the militants come here to this Christian town, what will they do? I don't know, he said, but maybe they'll do what they've done in other places and kill us. As the Islamic extremists attempt to push south towards Baghdad, these photos of what look like a mass execution have propaganda value because they tell Iraqi government soldiers what to expect if they stand in the way of the militants.